I just want to show a quick tip uh, for working on ball screws and ball nuts. Uh, obviously these things are full of little ball bearings and if you want to take them off to service it, clean them out or you just uh, you were curious and you took one out, want to take one out, uh, here's a little tip. If you just take them off obviously all the balls fall out. So I found that these little uh, syringe syringes are really useful. I keep a few of these around most of the time for uh, like it's useful for you know dosing like glue or oil into like small places whatever I find them very useful uh, so these are the ones I've got five milliliter disposable syringe they're probably a standard size I would think I found they are exactly the right diameter on the outside to keep the balls the ball nuts uh, keep the ball bearings in the ball nut so I cut well I cut the uh, end off one and then you can slide it over the end of the ball screw and then when you un undo the, the nut, this is a bit difficult with one hand, when you undo the nut it keeps the uh, ball screws in place. And all the ball, all the all the ball bearings are inside there. Uh, I actually found this really useful because I took some of these off to service them, and then obviously because I'm careless, the uh, little ball bearings fell out. Um, I found if you just there's actually rings in here which are not used because the ball bearings travel from one of these little sockets around to the other one and kind of get jumped over one thread and between that and the next one there's an unused ring of thread so if you were just to put this on and you know fill it up with ball bearings as you do it up you're actually going to end up filling up a lot of those unused rings which will just because they because they don't do anything they just come up to the back of one of these lugs and just get jammed in there so you'll end up just rubbing and rubbing the ball the ball bearings around so uh, also you know these syringes are actually I found really useful for filling up or refilling the ball nuts you can just jam the uh, empty all the balls out and then uh, jam a little finger in there with a load of grease in the ball nut rub it all around in there then when you put the uh, when you use some tweezers to put the ball bearings in the ball nut, the grease holds them in. And once you've got one loop done, you can stick the syringe part way in. And I just used some blue tack to keep the syringe in place while I worked on filling up the next line. That way, by doing it manually that way, it's a bit tedious, but you can uh, make sure you don't get any ball bearings in the unused loops. Then once it's on, you can just uh, jam it on and put it back. Let's see. Ah, sorry, the focus is bad here. So anyway, so again, because they're hollow, it's really useful. And then they've got these little wings on it, which stop it from sliding all the way through. So you just get it up like that and uh, start turning it. And as it turns, it will come off the. Uh... There we are. There we are. And my um, my ball screws are actually customised. They don't have the standard. 10 mil end on here. They're uh, M12 threaded, so uh, uh, M10. Uh, sorry, a 10 mil just smooth end on here would probably be a bit looser than that. But I'm sure you, you know it would still fit over and allow you to take the ball nut off. Anyway, so there you go. That was uh, <laughs> just you know I just looked around the workshop trying desperately to find anything that's just the right size to hold those ball balls in the ball nut, and happened upon finding that these uh, syringes are the right size so yeah that was really convenient just thought I'd share that